uh, another infamous interview you did, and this was one that I, I was actually, it actually annoyed me. It was uh, a Vampiro one. And uh, from wrestlers I've spoken to and interviewed with and interacted with, uh, Vampiro is the one who's basically, uh, maybe the hate is too dramatic a word, but he's heavily disliked. In fact, he's so disliked that Sting, like, bear in mind, uh, Seth Rollins retired Sting and fucking broke his neck. There's been people who've insulted Sting for his religious beliefs, and Sting has said nothing negative about them, but he literally called Vampiro a piece of shit. Uh, so what was it like when you were interviewing Vampiro and knowing that this guy's a, a legitimate hate magnet in all the wrong ways? Um, I knew before <laughs> I knew beforehand, I think be- from Russo, that Vampiro t- is a notoriously uh, stretches the truth. Let's say that. So I knew it was going to be story hour. And I was more than fine with that. Vince Russo and Disco Inferno did an entire, I think, two hour episode of one of their podcasts when the You Shoot Vampiro came out. And they went minute by minute and critiqued and judged the truth of everything that came out of his mouth. It's one of the funniest podcasts I've ever heard. I just asked Vince about it on my podcast. You guys, see, you guys have to see if you can find that on YouTube somewhere, if they've ever put that on YouTube, where they they go story by story and they give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to if it could be true. Yeah, there was a thing recently, uh, Vampiro claimed to have four breaks in his spine and then uh, a week later he announced his comeback and that he was in the best shape of his life. And it was like, um, how fast did you heal? Right. Well, he. my favorite story from him was he said it, it, very seriously on the show that he's got two spirits that are floating above him currently from a ceremony he attended like in Ecuador or some shit. Like, I, I, I'm going to get the terminology wrong. So, you know, Satanists out there, please don't don't get upset uh, that he, he didn't do something at the ceremony. So like the door was left open. So they um attached themselves to him now i said to him on air i said wait i said vamp are you are you sure these are two spirits and not just like two rats that you did wrong in mexico and he said no they're two spirits um that are following me around and so i i guess i had a laugh and i joked around that i don't think they're spirits i just think they're smelly rats um and like a week later i get this picture texted to me from ian from from vamp and it's a a gurney in a morgue with bodies and it's like pushed against the wall and it's like in a dark corridor and it's something if you were building like a haunted house for uh to charge people to walk through this is like something you would have you would have made so he's like i told you bro i have a picture of it and um I, he was saying that the, those were the bodies that were left out like during the so well, fresh bodies were brought in during the ceremony and those were the ones that were so these are the joys of my job, Adam. I get to talk about it. And then a week later, when I'm trying to sleep, a picture of two bodies on a gurney comes through the phone at 12 o'clock at night that I have to respond to. 